Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use Affinity Designer to customize some vector resources and quickly design your own t-shirt. So as I mentioned, today we are not going to start with the blank canvas. Instead, I'm heading to Monster One, a sponsor of this video, to grab some resources that I will use to design a t-shirt later and even upload to a popular print on demand service to see how it will look like on those built in mockups. All right, so here I am, and now I'm going to search for some graphic elements. So I head to graphic section, and as you can see, there are multiple categories. You may think I will head straight to t shirts. So let's try it out, and I'm going to tell you why I got a better idea. So if you head straight to t shirts, you will see people kind of offering those designs that are kind of already assembled with the text and prepare for just putting on t-shirts but i need more control all right i want to customize it exactly to my needs so instead of like getting this ready to use t-shirt design i will just head to graphics and then to vector graphics that's the one that we can easily customize in our finished designer and from here we can simply browse but Keep in mind uh, 11,000 vector graphics here, so that will be a pretty challenging task. We can narrow down by topics on the left, or you can simply kind of search for uh, specific phrases. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to search for cats. I plan to design a t shirt for cat lovers. So I'm heading here and now I got those different sets with already designed cats. So that will speed up my workflow. And after scrolling a while, I noticed this very nice vector set over here. All right, so we got like 10 different cats here. I think that will be a perfect chance because we got a chance to design like 10 different t-shirts with different cats. So that's a good stuff. Let's hit this download button. After opening the file, I can see some previews and also SVG files. SVG is the format we exactly need for Affinity to design, and this is a vector format, all right? So let's try to open those cats in SVG. There's also the one for the whole set, so I'll try that first. All right, the whole set is loaded, and I want to check out how they are grouped. They are not really grouped, but that's not a problem because I can easily group them myself. So I prefer they are not grouped at all because that's better than just some poor groups. All right, so right now I simply select one card, then I hit Command G on my keyboard and very quickly can group them into separate illustrations. Why I'm doing that? Because I want to add them to the asset panel in Affinity Designer. This will speed up my work with this asset in the future and I don't need to open the original file at all. All right, I got those groups. All of them are vector objects, so that's great. Now I can simply go to window and open my assets. Assets may be floating like that. You can stick them also here to the left. That's a good position for assets, as you can see. I see my last use asset, the tropical set. But now I'm going to create a new subcategory. So I hit here, new category of assets. Here I will keep all of my monster one assets from that website. And now I got first asset section here that I can rename to cats. Select all of the cats that we already grouped and you can simply add from selection. And take a look, I got this asset panel now with all of my cats and whatever I need them in any other project, I can just drag out the cat and place it. So that's how you manage your assets in Affinity Designer. It took a moment, right, to set this up nicely, but after you're done with that, they're already here. They'll be in Affinity Designer for a while now and you can even export and import assets. So that's another thing we can do with them after you properly add them to your asset panel. So I recommend this approach, especially if you are doing this on iPad, you can have them kind of within the program. So that's way easier for us. All right, with asset setup, let's create a brand new document and use the official size from Amazon Merck. We're going to use pixels. 
it will be 4,500 wide and 5,400 high. Keep it as 300 DPI. I usually create an artboard. That's how I like to work for the colors. They actually suggest RGB, not change to the printing colors. So that's a thing that is not that obvious, but they, that's what they suggest when you're creating design for Amazon Mark. Okay, so let's create. And here's our artboard. And you know what? Let's add two more artboards so we can kind of create three different design, three different versions of this t-shirt in the same time. So each artboard is one design. This way we can do it in one document three times faster. All right, now I'm going to think about some kind of slogan, some kind of text that I wanna place on the t-shirts. T-shirts with texts are usually easier to sell because they kind of spark some kind of emotion. People read those texts, they can relate to them. So let me just think about some text related to cats. All right, so I come up with three different slogans first one i don't like humans so for people that kind of are like cats themselves so which cat from my set will best represent that i think maybe this black cat that's just looking staring and judging us silently so that would be one for this one ask me about my cat i like this one so i will go with the yellow one keep in mind those designs will be printed on t-shirts with different colors. So we cannot forget about that fact. For example, the most popular color t-shirt is black and I'm putting the black cat here. So in the moment, I will show you how we can separate the black image from the black t-shirt. And this is a very handy trick. All right, and the last one. Last one is interesting. I love physics and my cat. So what I did here, I narrowed down this group. So the first two can kind of be searched and purchased by any cat lover but the problem is there are already thousands of t-shirts for for them right so what you want to do sometimes actually very often you want to narrow down this so now i'm not only i need a very specific person someone maybe is a physics teacher in frame in school or something like that or student of physics or simply enjoy this subject and then also owns and love cats so as you can see there are not that many people that may match this persona but that's why this design may be very good for us because maybe there's only three or four t-shirts like that available so we add a new one and it will be already at the top so we want those specifics narrowed down sometimes so whether you do like very open one like asking about my cat do one for specific occupation for specific gender people of certain heritage so you can kind of narrow this down just for them a special design just for them this one will be a bit tricky hmm, i'm not sure yet which cat but i kind of want to use this one that's stretching up nicely so i will put this one here and i will just jump back for a moment to master one and search that i can find something about physics if you join master one as a on the creative plan so the cheapest one you got unlimited downloads for like vector assets as you can see all of the graphic assets 3d models even video and audio assets in my case i don't need wordpress and website assets so i can just use the cheapest one myself and this way i can now search for the next asset again maybe i can find something more about like physics and this will save me some time while designing that very specific t-shirt as you can see here's showing us ask this in several categories so for example i'm not into powerpoint presentations right now or videos so i will click view all on graphics this very first one here at the top is really nice so i'm going to open up this set and i will download this one and try to reuse some elements from it from this like classroom like thing with my cat design so we're kind of mixing two different styles now to create a very unique design something that some certain people may search for and again i load this another set in affinity designer i can check my layer panel now for different groups and like always we can regroup it and match our needs to make it easier for us to keep in the asset panel so let me just do it quickly and again just add from selection and we got another group of 
vector assets. Let's go back to our main project. I just drag and drop the asset from the second library and I think I got all of the assets I need for this project. So if you want to kind of regain some space in your interface, you can even head to window and close the asset tab for now like that. All right, we got a quite boring font. So now our next task will be to find a better font for our t-shirt. I will use the Antonio font because this is a variable font so I can edit how heavy it is using the slider. That's one of the new features in Affinity Designer. Plus this font is rather tall and narrow so it's perfect for t-shirts because we can make it large and it will still fit in our design. All right, so let's zoom in into artboard number one. So we got this cat here, it's a vector, so we don't need to be afraid of scaling it up and down. While you're dealing with illustrations that are rather dark, you must be careful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the inverse method. So I'm going to turn all of those details into white, so it will look interesting on any backdrop, even darker backdrop. Luckily, this is just a group full of vector objects, so it will be really easy to recolor. I just select one element of this color. Now I can use select same. Select same fill color. Take a look, all of the elements with the same fill color are selected right now. What if I turn them white? That's nice. Of course, I will turn the eyes back to the original one so the original color cool so we got this kind of negative thing now going on way easier to see this on the t-shirt now so avoid like very similar dark colors they may not print well what i want to do for this cat is also some kind of white surrounding almost like a sticker so if you are planning or adjusting your t-shirt design to work well on different colors you can actually click on the artboard name and select a different color for this artboard temporary. All right, so we're designing a gray t-shirt now. We can easily kick this color out later, but now it will help us to design it. So feel free to change your artboard color. Very nifty trick. All right, I don't like humans. Maybe we can put humans into separate line. And maybe I will make it all capital letters. All right. Something like this will do. I like it. Now I will add a stroke color to this text. So I want a line around the text, but I want this line to be outside. Just like that. And I want this color to be same as the cat. Perfect. I will put this text very close, almost like too dangerous to be close together like that. All right. But I think it gives us this nice bold decomposition. Let's scale everything to, this, to the size of the t-shirt. Keep in mind, if you're scaling something that got stroke around, the stroke will stay in the same size. So what I need to do, I need to click to maintain the stroke size. You need to click here, scale with object. All right. 20 will do, I think, for this stroke. And for the cat, I want this tail to kind of almost like border us, popping on the text here. Cool, nicely matched with the text. and. I was thinking about giving the cut some kind of white border around too. So the easiest way to do that is to duplicate the whole illustration. So you can right click on that group with cut and you can duplicate that. Now we can unite all of the shapes in the second group to get just one shape like this. Use the tool called contour tool here at the very top and drag it out so we're kind of adding the offset around that 
Now we will bake the appearance and turn it white. Be sure you move this new layer to be below your cat. And now we got this safety net around this design. So we kind of immune to whatever t-shirt color somebody will pick. We kind of getting ready here, getting sure that it will be nice. Let's move this white offset area all the way down below the text. Like this. Looks good. Now I'm kind of rechecking this offset thing with the node tool because sometimes you may have stray nodes like that when using offset tools to change some shapes you may end up with some stray nodes so I just click on the node and then delete on my keyboard if you think you got some unnecessary nodes you can clean them this way all right and I kind of finish up my first design it was really quick process because we already got the illustration so we don't need to start from kind of scratch we got illustration we modify some colors we add this extra offset around and now I can get rid of the color inside this artboard all right let me prepare a similar design for the second t-shirt all right with all three designs adjusted we are ready to export them as PNGs we got each design on the separate artboard, so that's a really easy process. There's a special export persona in Affinity Designer. So let's head to the export persona. As you can see, I got all three artboards here on the left. I just hold shift to select them all three. I already got preset to PNG, so I can just click export slices. And after selecting the folder, you can export all three images in one go with one click. So if you got like 10 different like t-shirt designs you can export 10 different files in one click so we can save time the final step of this tutorial will be to test it out so let's just try to upload what we create today and see that the amazon merc will accept our files from Affinity designer it's uploaded just fine and now they are generating the mockups for us and take a look this little trick right with offsetting the shape and creating this white border play really nicely because it's even on the black t-shirt is really visible so as you can see it's really easy to use affinity designer to customize the vector resources that we download from monster one if you would like to try monster one the all access service I got a special promo code so when you go to click join now there is this box here on the right side have a discount code you can just type crew mark and click apply and you will get a nice 10% off all right I hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next tutorial bye